how to make a biodigester. First, a biodigester is a device that is composed of a tank which processes organic material and releases methane gas known as biogas, serving as an alternative fuel in the 21st century. Because of this, it is important to build biodigesters. Besides, it is going to help with the current climate change going all over the world. Some of the most important places in which a biodigester is used is at farms in the United States and in other nations. However, it can also be used in homes to power up an oven machine. First of all, our hypothesis states that a small-scale biodigester with a very few amount of organic waste, specifically 3 kilograms, with half of the weight waste mass of water of 1.5 liters, will be able to produce enough methane gas to fill a balloon. In this investigation, we decided to use the following materials. A container of 11 liters of Bonafont, the lid of the container, one cooler, a super glue for PVC plastic, and a bulb, all found at a local hardware store. First of all, we make a hole of the same diameter of the bulb on the lid with the cutter, so that we can place the bulb through this hole. Now, using the super glue, we paste the bulb to the lid and block any pores through which methane gas can escape, allowing us to have it hermetically sealed. And in the end, we turn out with a biodigester of 11 liters, capable of supporting 11 kilograms of mass. However, it has to be a full to half of its capacity so that it can be possible to work. Our process was to insert the material and leave it for 15 days. After these 15 days, uh, there was a burning temperature of 20 to 30 degrees centigrade. And to, due to this, there was a very low production of methane gas, which was less than one cent cubic centimeter of volume according to our measurements of a balloon. Also, it is important to mention that the waste we used were apple cores, plant leaves, and fruit wastes. From this, we conclude that due to the fact that there was very little methane gas obtained, the bearing temperature affects in a significant way how methane gas is produced. Also, a possible mistake is that we had very little amount of water and there was possibly a leak in the bulb due to the fact that the paste solidified so fast. However, there's something important to mention that is that it was very viable, cost less than 100 pesos. Some changes we consider for future experiments is to use manure, leave the biodigester for more days in a hotter environment, and to try to fill the container to three-fourths of its capacity, including both waste and water.